Coco Demon Tournament is going down in this bitch tonight. And y'all already know who's in it, man. Here we go right here tomorrow. We're we going to make history the biggest creators content, content creators tournament. Uh, you know, it's going to be the clash. And it's going to be the 16th, 17th through the 18th. And some of the people that are going to be in it, man, we're just going to show some of the people. We got Coda Man versus Shoot. Uh, we got Iggy Mo versus Hank the Tank. That should be that should be a pretty good one. We got D Nail versus Badgie Pluggy. We got uh Solo Solo versus Bandit. We got Chrissy T versus uh the Instant Burner and uh, Jerry's Twin. And then we got EJ versus uh Nade man. And uh you then we got Extra Nut versus Power DF. We got Poor Boy CM versus Hollywood. And uh that's pretty much everybody that's gonna be in it so far, man. They're gonna be staggering them, you know, between between the 17th and the 18th or what i mean 16th and the 17th and all that good stuff all of these games are going to be played today on twitch uh you know i'm gonna be in there y'all want me to do a watch party with that man y'all let me know because like he said he doing all the, the big thing giveaways prizes all that good stuff and if you don't get in that con if you don't get in that contest what you can get in is the contest that we do every day man every single day we give you a chance to win 50 dollars in vc cash out or um a video game of your choice the, you know the regular edition of the game all you got to do is like the video and comment today is going to be demi comment unk or demi somewhere down there in the, uh in the contest in the comment section or who you think gonna win one of the matchups you don't even have to be there you're gonna be entered to win this friday fifty dollars vc cash app or a video game of your choice that's gonna be number one uh nick navarro you won today's your last day you gotta hit me up or uh you know we're gonna have to rescind the prize or what have you you're gonna give it to somebody else look also, if we can average 8K views and we're nowhere near that right now, but we're going to keep on trying. We're going to give away a next-gen console, a laptop, or $500 at the end of the month. It's going to be your choice if you win. All you got to do, like the video and comment on them below. That's it. And uh, also, the bots are back. I keep banning them every time I see them just right off the bat. But a lot of times they come back. I can't get all of them out of there, but just make sure y'all keep uh, ignoring them. I got Instagram, Twitter, and Black Planet. That's all I got. Uh, college club account. I tried to check, check on that yesterday. That's been closed. So, you know, we ain't got none of that no more. And I know uh, that's all we got, man. And without further ado, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Hey, man, we got we got that boy Joe Knows. He just talking about a couple of things right here for y'all peoples, man. He just saying, look, the game is far from perfect, but I ain't gonna lie. Even, even on 1920 and others, we all thought uh, we all thought were lit. I would get bored if I didn't change up bills, modes, and whatever. He says, gotta add variety, otherwise I can't play for more than an hour. And so, like, this is this all came, this all came off the back of a tweet that he put out, and it was this one right here. So let me get this straight. You play 2K 10 hours a day on the same bill, the same game mode against the same people, um, and the same teammates, and wonder why the game gets boring fast. And then uh, he, he went on to say, also, change your play style. You can't get on the game and rim run eight hours straight and wonder why you're getting bored. I add variety, and if it isn't the most comp way to play. I mean, even if it isn't the most comp way to play. And I think that's what we get caught up in a lot too, man. We get caught up in the comp and all that good stuff too much, man. Um, a lot of people a lot of people just, just get mad and they just get so enraged uh, about stuff. And it just be like, yo, if you're doing the same thing over and over and over, then you probably are gonna get bored after a while. Like NASA One ran ran uh team deathmatch, mercenary team deathmatch on high rise for literally like two years on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. We never got tired of it, but that doesn't mean that the next person won't get tired of it, man. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh the boy provoked, he says this wasn't an issue in any other 2K. Nobody complained about playing on the same bill, get game boring because it's boring. Nobody trying to play wreck to have fun or spend a hundred dollars every time they get bored. And then Joe came back with Joe came back with uh what did he say? Oh, this is what he said right here. He said, Pro Am is a whole new world. Challenge your stick skill and also your IQ. Go play a couple of top Pro Am teams in WR or uh the Hall of Fame League, and I bet you'll rethink this. And pretty much, I guess, provoke is saying, like what he's saying, bro, everybody's right in this situation, bro. Like, like, if you don't have fun doing a certain thing, then I can't make you have fun doing a certain thing. And um I don't know what he's talking about when he's saying, you, you saying nobody complained in previous 2K? Provoke, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Bro, everybody has complained in every 2K 
man, in every 2K, everybody says this game, look, this is how the 2K cycle goes. I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe he just got into the 2K community, but this is what happens every year in 2K. We get to this time where the views go down, everybody say the game is dry, everybody say the game is dead, and then what happens? They inevitably go back to the last game that they say it was ass the previous year. So let's say 2K21. Everybody was, we was in the middle of 2K21, no, 2K18, everybody was like, 2K18, bad, blah, blah, blah. We get there, everybody go, we get to 19, everybody go back to 18. Then, it's the next thing, it was the next year. 19, or we get to 20, people saw 20 was tough. We played 20 to like, what, mid-January? No, no, no. 19, pushing got in the game, so people went back to 18 early. Then 20, 20 was a little tougher, and then until people found the hop step, it was really hard to score in the paint because chase downs was crazy. Until people found the hop step and they took the explosive behind the back, people went back to 19. 21 was the same thing. People couldn't shoot. They went back, they went back early. And then you had uh what's the other thing that happened in, in 21? Then the next year, 21, it was like everybody got the same bill, so people went back back to 20. That was justifiable. I ain't gonna lie. But the same thing happened. This is a cycle in 2K. Everybody does say so. I don't know what he's trying to say when he's trying to say that that nobody did this. Like in any like this wasn't an issue in any other 2K, bro. I don't know. I, I don't know what he's talking about, but hey, it is what it is. Y'all let me know. Am I wrong or is he right? He could be right. I mean, like you said, in, in the YouTube world, if you got more subs than somebody, you automatically right. But I recall people going back and saying that 2K dead around this time of year every time just because the views fall off. But hey, it is what it is. Who, who knows? I'm just a lowly content creator. We got the boy IQ contained last week. Speaking of contest, last night he and Sin played and he says, GG Sin. Welcome to my lines then reverse sweep or whatever like that. And y'all, like I said, bro, we we already know that he <laughs> he tweeted I was in the stream, he tweeted this joint out so fast, I already knew he had that joint, man. So hey, congrats to him. He won all that good stuff. Uh it was a it was a it was a decent battle, but we gonna show y'all what the people thought about it here. And Sin says to everybody that bet on me, I'm sorry I let you down. Thanks for believing in me uh with y'all money. If if I could, I'd pay everyone back for my loss. Uh, for my loss, I would. Win, I would win the uh, win, win some, lose some, still live to play another day. My apologies. But hey, that's why I always say, bro, I would not gamble on this game. It just is what it is. I would never gamble on this game. Sin had a lot of chance to win the game and uh, a lot of chance. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I feel like if he didn't have layup time and all, he probably would have won because he was under the rim a couple of times and tried to go up and it just didn't go. But uh, hey, look, that boy grinding, he says, W mean, but holy snikes. That 1v1 series was so bad. And uh, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Just rim running. Some of the worst virtual basketball I've ever seen and all that stuff like that. That boy GV said, this is a this is POV of watching it. They're right now, pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, pump fake. Pump fake some more. Pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, pump fake. Hey, GV is a freaking troll, bro. I ain't gonna lie, but he's a national treasure. I can't lie, but that's how it was, man. It seemed like, like, the reason that it was is because this. They augmented the game, right? They actually went and they played with um they played with bronze limitless takeoff. So when you got bronze limitless takeoff, that goes to show that what I was saying is they had all those cheesy dunk packages on, but the problem with the game has never been the actual dunk packages, it's limitless takeoff. When you got bronze limitless takeoff, you can get back when somebody beats you, they haven't beaten you in, in no other 2K except last year. When somebody beats you, like I don't even know whose idea Limitless Takeoff was. Like there's no such thing of, of that. Or, or that's not like I understand that this is a virtual basketball game, but there's no bro, come on man. Why why am I allowed to take off from the free throw line every single time? I get one step on you, you're beat. In previous 2Ks, you could get back and probably get them, get them and stop them around the Remula area. And and that's what they were doing last night. So you were able to get back. So then you had to end up left sticking or pump faking or doing something like that. And that's what ended up happening. So I think that to be honest, I can't I can't lie. I think that Limitless Takeoff on Bronze, it didn't make for better gameplay. It just made for more realistic gameplay. But some people, you know, it, it's just crazy. Um, I, I would just say, you know, we just gotta, I, I, like the, I like that rule change, but at the same time, having to adapt to that rule change on the spot, I know that was tough. Hey, the boy, Dime work, he says, the fact that holding the ball for two seconds without dribbling or moving uh, might result in a timeout call tells you everything you need to know about the 2K community. Trash dudes, uh, trash dudes. Dudes never, uh, dudes rather get sped up and throw turnovers than take their time and make the smart play. Then he doubled down on that and he just says, it's always the dude doing the most talking who's the most ass in the wreck. Uh, hey, let me see the rock. 
Let me see the rock one side, dog. Clear out the paint. Get hip rolled to the paint, and after after doing no moves to get himself open, and goes up with a smothered layup. But yet he's criticizing everyone, and that's exactly what we had yesterday, man. Like y'all saw the video. That's how that that was the origin of that video, pretty much. Dude was saying that, talking, hiding the wreck, and then he said he wanted to play play me one on one. If you didn't see it, y'all need to go back and watch it. That joint was hilarious. That was like somebody said, Jay. That was some of the most respectful talk I've ever heard anybody do in their life, man. And I ain't a lot of y'all, man. Now, hey, I was just trying to tell him, bro, this ain't what you want, but I'm gonna give it to you. But I had looked at his stats and all that, but that's how it goes in the wreck. That's why I think a lot of people have a lot of issues playing with randoms. It's not that the randoms are bad, and it's not that randoms make mistakes, because everybody makes mistakes. The problem is, when I make a mistake, it's an actual mistake. When they go in there and try to go up on five people, they meant to do that, and then they actually think it's gonna work because they end up saying, what do they say? Come on, 2K. Bro, it ain't got nothing to do with 2K, bro. It's, it's you, bro. Like, you really be wanting, y'all know your shit. I know what y'all be wanting to say when they do that. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Bro, I ain't trying to hear none of that come on 2K stuff. You shouldn't have tried to do that. And like I said, hey, if I go down there and do it, you always hear me say, well, thought that was gonna work, but it didn't. But you know, but I'm trolling or whatever. They ain't trolling. They be like, come on 2K. They really think they should have made that layup on 15 people. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Make sure y'all like the video and comment Demi or Unk or who you think is gonna win. They comment, I mean, win their joint down below. And um, again, we're giving away $50 in VC, $50 in cash out or a video game of your choice on Friday. And we're going to also give a give away, at the end of the month, if we can average 8K views, we're gonna be giving away a next gen console or 500 bucks or a laptop. It's all up to you. And um, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Guys,